727 back back to the phones we go tori in detroit you're on the program how are you sir hey Doc, how you doing hey skip how you doing brother tori oh, it's man. good to hear from you buddy tori is a was a regular listener of ours in uh, detroit and you actually made it to um uh glenn flew you to dallas for one of the events right restoring yeah, love Restor- right. was that restoring love Yes, sir. Last summer, Restoring Love, me and my whole family, it was beautiful. Met some real great people, and I continue to meet beautiful people on a daily basis just from that event. It was a very, uh, it was a blessing. Tori, so you're, you're in Detroit. We were talking about manufacturing and bringing back these great manufacturing cities, and you're all around it. Tell us what life in Detroit is like right now. Well, it's not good because, as you might have heard, we have the emergency financial manager that's taken over the city. Mm-hmm. And you guys talked about unions earlier now. The unions are owed $26 billion, I believe, in yeah. pension yep. retirements. Now, I believe the unions knew that 20 years ago, when they were negotiating these deals, the population was dropping out of the city. And the city was like a business. If you aren't bringing in any money, you can't you know, fund the benefit package. We have under 700,000 citizens in the city, mm-hmm. you know, and there are no jobs. Half the population is working. And the other half is unemployed. So they knew what they were doing years ago as part of their little political system to, you know, keep Detroit down under this socialist policy that they have. You know what I think, Tori? I think people misunderstand something. Or they think that um, that life and uh, and everything we do is a destination. We build cities up and then it's a destination. We, we, you know, with our relationships with family and friends or whatever, that it's a destination. And once you arrive there, you're done with it. You can put that away. Well, that's not the case. Cities are, are growing and shrinking all the time. And when we grow cities, if you look at how cities grew, you know, over the past couple hundred years, as you got more people, you said, okay, we can afford more things, more cops, more firefighters, more nice things. And people recognize that. They say, right on, we're growing. We have more money. We can do that. But when uh, cities start to shrink, they don't say that. They think, well, we got to maintain. Well, no, you're supposed to shrink back with the other stuff too, right? That's correct. You know, you put the shrink down. Um, He has said the Emergency financial manager has said the city is going to be out of money by December. Now, he's offered 10 cents on the dollar to the bill collectors. And I believe from what I saw on the report this morning, they turned that down. Mm-hmm. So the next step is bankruptcy if these unions don't come to an agreement and settle. They have to. Yeah. Or, or we're done. As much, Tori, as much as I stand with the unions, that you're, you're right. Like I said, I think they should be made whole. I think they got a raw deal because they were promised things, but we're beyond that now. Now it's to the point of the whole thing's going to collapse, so they're going to have to make tough decisions. The speculation is whether or not they should you know, start selling off public ass, uh, ac, um, assets, like some of the art at the uh, Detroit Institute of Art and stuff like that. And I've always said, yeah, at some point, you got to make difficult decisions. Troy, thanks so much for checking in, buddy. I really appreciate hearing from you. All right, you guys take care. I just want to say one more thing. Yes, sir. Where's the outrage on a daily basis when it's black-on-black crime? There's no protest. There's no rallying. There's no blackout. There's it, not, not one single thing goes on when another black person kills another black person. But since Zimmerman, they said, is white, mixed with Hispanic or whatever, it's an outrage. It, you know what it is, Tori? It's, it's an insult to the black community because it's almost as if we say, it's okay if all of your crime is contained to your little neighborhood where it's only black people. It's insulting. It's a slap in the face. That's the attitude. They push it under the rug. They say, well, that doesn't matter. But this person killed this person because he was walking from the store. How many people get shot and killed walking from the store over a pair of glasses or gym shoes or a car jack? You know, and I don't think it's right. And these liberals, they need to really get their act together. All right, Tori. Gonna- all right, you take guys, take care. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, really Tori. appreciate hearing from you. We're gonna hear some more coming up. Eight 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 nine hundred. Actually, eight eight eight.